Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and we're going to be looking at some advanced features in Word that can help you particularly if you are setting exam papers and you've got a nice layout that you really like to use and you want to make your life a little bit easier when you are setting papers in the future. So this is a little bit more advanced but if you follow us you can probably catch the skills. We're going to be using styles and if you want to learn about styles then just look at the link above or in the description that can teach you specifically about styles and how to create styles and that but we're going to use it in the context of an exam paper now let's say we are very happy with our exam paper that we've got let's say you've got one already you've got a nice little i uh, like this question for example i like the way that always looks i want it always to be like this style that's how you want all your questions to look. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, for example, this first bit there. I always want it to be 14, bold, italic. Little tip, just select the text. Make it exactly the way you want it. Yes, I want a style based on this particular this particular part here. So I'm going to go and to styles over there. And I'm going to say, I'm going to create a new style. Create a style. And I'm going to call it question level and I'm going to modify it. Now you'll notice that it's going to be based off, it's going to make it based off of a, a paragraph and yeah you can see it's already copied all the styles or the features of that particular style. It's bold, it's 14 because it's it's trying to mimic what we've just selected. So I'm happy with that, I'm going to keep it like that. So there we go. So that's going to be my question level style for example and then this is going to be the style that I have. So you'll notice even the the tabs and all that is what I want to copy. I'm going to make that also into a new style. So gonna, hey, let's create a new style. Let's call this the um, that was the question level. So let's go quick question intro. So we'll call this question intro, and we're going to modify it. And it's going to also be you can see all the indents already been set because so that, so our first suggestion is to get your paper or the first few questions exactly the way you want. And so when you are creating your styles. You are merely copying those particular styles. Go, yes, I want this one, please. I want it question intro and go, yes, that's what I want it to look. And now this is an abstract or extract. Um, I'm going to select that. I'm going to say this is also going to be a style and create an, a style for this. This is going to be a, a text or extract. And we're going to modify that. That's going to be a, and you can see it's already, it says there the details of it. It's got it before, after, it's got a border and so on. And we can go, yes, that's exactly what I want, please. So go, okay. And so on. So you get the idea. So we can look at that. And we are applying, like, so technically, when we click there, you can see that it's applied that style to that particular text. And same with that question number. And so and so on. Let's do one more. So this is a base question. So let's go and make this a level one question, for example. So we're going to create a style on this one and call this a question level one um, and we're going to modify it and so there we go yeah we're happy with that so it's based on that paragraph there we go got all the indents that's exactly what i wanted to look like and go okay so there we go so there we go so now i've got all these little styles that are created we could create styles on everything we could do like the headings the titles even like the 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 first line and the second line you can do all those types of things and so what I'm going to do is now, let's say I've got you another question. Hey, this question, oh, it's very similar to this previous one, but I want you to lay it out exactly the same. Now, instead of me having to copy everything, I can just go, hey, this is a, what was this? This is a, now we can actually make this appear a little bit to the side here. If we want to make it pop out a bit, yeah. We can have our styles pop out to the side there, make it a bit bigger if we want it. So we can see all our styles and you can even uh, show the preview of them. If you want to see them but we want that is a question level if you remember correctly so we're going to click on that and so there we go it's copied exactly the same and then this particular style that was the this was the same as that i think it was the question intro so i'm going to click on question intro and it does the exact same style and then here we've got an extract so if i put this on a new line okay, hey this is an extract so we go to the extract where was there's the extract so i select this particular text and go this is an extract and so it's literally copying the style exactly the way i want it to be so i can press tab and put it the way i want it. in this one that's a base question or question level one um, i think that's question level one if i click on it no it's not that one it's that one that one that's the one there we go question level one um, and so there we go so it's laid it out exactly the way i want it to be so by using styles we now have make our life a lot easier when we are setting our paper because now any 
question that we copy or paste or bring into this paper we can then just go to it and then use our styles to be able to change them and so there we go so that's what i recommend and to make sure that you keep those styles if you want to keep them um, my suggestion after that once you've got it all nicely laid out and you've got your styles all nicely arranged there when you save it we're going to go file and we're going to go file save as so save as and we're going to not save it as a word document but i would then select rather save it as a template file so when we click over here we can then go okay i want it as a word template file so therefore we and then whenever we want to use that particular template then we can just go and get that particular file so if i save it as a template i'm going to save it in the same folder so save it as the exam paper template so there we go we're going to click on save now if i want to create another exam paper for another i can just come here to file and i can go to new and if your template's not over there you can go to click on personal and you'll see your templates over here so if i click on this particular template you'll see it's still document or what a document for whatever we can save it but it's followed the exact same layout and template i've got access to all the styles of that particular template that we saved originally so obviously you can get rid of all this content and then put your new questions and that in but you've got access to all of your original styles that you've got here Got all of them available and so on so there you can see your question headers and your extract and stuff like that it's all over here everything's the same layout so that's what i would recommend using styles and templates you can create a nice little document that you can use for your entire department and then everyone can be setting papers in the same look and feel using your styles and your templates learn more about styles by clicking on the link in the video description as well as go to our youtube channel click on the subscribe button leave a like leave a comment we'd love to hear from you look at our playlists for more details and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way